News of Leon Gorman's death spread through Freeport today. The leader of LL Bean and the visionary for the company. This is, you know, a very uh, uh, sad day uh, here at uh, Bean, and it's uh, uh, an incredibly sad day for the uh, family. Leon took over the company in 1967 after the death of his grandfather, LL Bean. It was a five million dollar business in a small shop along Freeport's main drag. But it's taken investment from people who saw more than that. Who saw that they could turn it into a primary and premier retail destination for Maine and for, for New England? The iconic boot symbolizing the part tourist attraction the bean store is, and a company that's grown to be worth $1.5 billion under Gorman's leadership and boosting Freeport's retail business along the way. Well, the most recent estimates I've seen have estimated that between three and three and a half million people come to Freeport um, every year. The flagship store is one of 24 bean stores, this one never getting too big for its leader. Everyone uh, from the front lines to the executive offices felt like they worked fully and directly and uh, proudly so. You go into the community, the same thing. He cared about the community. Officials telling us he worked to get this park for the city, was an advocate for education, and served breakfast at Preble Street Resource Center. We will miss his dedication to the community, the service that he provided to the community, but the leadership there remains extremely strong. Executives say they'll continue to run the business in the same principles that Gorman instilled for his company, using his example as a model. Leon ran this business as uh, more than a business. He ran it with a higher sense of purpose. In Freeport, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.